My name's Mr Perkett. I'm one of the engine drivers on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. Sometimes I drive Thomas, but Thomas is working in a country far away. Oh, I bet Thomas is having lots of fun. But I hope he's behaving himself and not getting into too much trouble. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of a story about Thomas getting into trouble. And also how Toby and Henrietta first came to Sodor. The story's called Thomas in Trouble. One morning, a policeman was sitting on the grass close to the line. He was shaking a stone from his boot. Peep, peep, Thomas whistled. The policeman grunted and put his boot on. Where's your cow catcher? He asked accusingly. But I don't catch cows, sir, said Thomas. No side plates either, said the policeman. Engines on public roads must have their wheels covered and a cow catcher. You haven't, so you are a danger to the public. Sir Topham Hatt was having breakfast. The butler knocked and came in. Excuse me, sir. Thomas is in trouble with the police. You must go at once. The policeman was on the platform. Other policemen came. The law is the law they said, and we can't change it. We will have to make these cowcatcher things for Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt later. But everyone will laugh, sir, said Thomas. They'll say I look like a tram. Why didn't I think of it before, said Sir Topham Hatt. We need a tram engine. I met a nice little engine called Toby when I was on holiday. I'll write to his controller at once. A few days later, Toby arrived. I see you brought Henrietta, said Sir Topham Hatt. You don't mind, do you, sir? The station master wanted to use her as a hen house. No, indeed, said Sir Topham Hatt. We couldn't allow that. And that's the story of how Toby and Henrietta came to Sodor. It's not really a story about Thomas getting into trouble, though, is it? Well, I should get back to work, otherwise I'll be in trouble with Sir Topham Hatt. <laughs> Goodbye. See you again soon. Thomas was very busy taking some supplies to a timber depot. He thought Sri Lanka was a beautiful country. But it was also hot, dry and very dusty. 